Dooski, it's your boy Farewell. Today we are checking out Angle, season number two, episode number 12, guys. Angel has been going through it this the past few episodes, and so have the employees over at Angle and Cordy Inc. Bonding. We went out, we went out the we went out to the, the demon bar the other day. Let's just see what's going on today in the series. Don't forget, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and let's see what's going on today in LA. Yikes. I know you don't have what it takes. What are they acting for, Cordy? I guess we'll just have to find out. Playing board games? Make a move. Cause it'll be your last. Chess. <laughs> Three fifths of the world covered in water, the rest covered in me. <laughs> Who's your ruler, baby? What if you have a vision? I'll call you. What if Angel? I thought we were gonna say the A word. Yeah, let's not say the A word. Let's just spend our lives sitting around waiting for him to call. We're not waiting for him to call. You right. Keep that energy up, Wes. I'll tell you the first thing we're scrapping. These stupid calling cards. We'll make our own logo. Yes. Catch you when you <laughs> fall. I'm loving it. Oh, oh I like that. Guys. Is it a vision Wait. of angel? It has two heads and it breathes fire. It's gigantic. You shouldn't go alone. Sorry. No, no, it's me. I didn't hurt you, did I? I couldn't see over the box. I was rushing. You do clown work? No, just some old clothes that got donated. Are you a clown? You missed one. They're for the kids. We close in a couple hours, and there's always a feeding frenzy when a new batch comes in. You work with runaways? Some are from around here, just don't have anywhere else to go. It's good. It's good that someone's... Well, it's, it's good to do. See you around. Uh-huh. Turn away on him a little bit. Got all these empty rooms. Nobody to be with. Nobody to hang out with. For who? Huh? Oh. Oh, shit. <laughs> So he said that intentionally, just to fuck with her. I got used to Angel's sense of humor. When he's down now like this and he's on his darker tip without anyone, it's a little depressing. We don't have him and it's not gonna do any good wishing we did. I was gonna say some dynamite. This does not sound good. You know, maybe maybe Cordio's captain. Oh, uh, well, we'll take another look. And then we'll die. Uh, no. Wait, wait, wait till his back is dead. Now. I thought she said he breathed fire. What do you want, man? I ain't inviting you in. Demon Lairs, no invitation necessary. I ask you for a favor, and you're avoiding me. Now, do you have the information I need, or do I have to see what the inside of that head looks like? She's clean, changed her name a couple of times, but no record. Runs a shelter over on Crenshaw. A couple of months ago, they almost lost the lease on the place. Wolfram and Hart step in, clear it all up pro bono, and there you go. Come to think of it, why do you need me? Mm -hmm. What about that hot chick who was working for you? It's gotta be an angle. Always is. That's what I'm the saying. The shelter itself is strictly legit. Hey, guy I ran over. Hey, girl who ran over me. Oh, now let's see. What do you got? That's not what I expected. What's the matter, doesn't fit you anymore? Cuts me across the bust. We really appreciate this. Every little bit helps, you know. I just wish I could do more. Well, if you're not in a hurry, you up for a tour? You just come in for naps? The bed, no. Uh, Sometimes I'm here so late, it's just uh, easier than going home. Thankfully, we have a guardian angel. Guardian angel? Wolfram and Hart. Uh, it's a law firm. He's, are you They've on been it? a godsend the last couple of months. They're the ones that came up with the idea for uh, the big holdup. Charity ball. It's a fundraiser for the center. This sounds Wolfram terrible. Wolfram and Hart's picking up the tab. Whatever it takes, right? Whatever it takes. Your angel's lackey. No. The contract. Right, this guy means contract. business. Angel and I have a history. History? Never seen you before. Would you guys go to college together? What's a wolf from in heart? We've never seen this guy before, right? Um, who knows what he is been doing? Or where this bad fits in? Lila. Now that Lindsay and I are in a position to affect policy, things will change. Well, yeah, because I get it now. The game. You screw with me, and you screw with me. And now, I get to screw with you. Uh, That's gonna be great! I was just trying to spook you. Yeah, well, it worked. Relax, he doesn't kill humans. Sorry, but I'm afraid I'm all Shut the door. Why don't you come in, Mr. Call me Boom. Juarez in the mentor? 20s. Oh. Had a little disagreement over a senorita. Life is long when you're eternal. And lo and behold, I'm in a karaoke bar downtown when I get wind of this lizard demon that Angel's planning on bringing you two down. When Angel comes for you, he's going to find me instead. I like it. I like it, and I tell you why. Because of the finding you instead part. How much do you charge? If you're talking about All killing right, Angel, I'm work. afraid we can't help you. Mr. Boone. You know, why not just rat him a little bit? You'll probably fail. I'm using my discretionary fund. Bring him on board. Aren't you forgetting something? The senior partners want Angel alive. Free hit. So? This plan of yours explodes, and we both end up in tiny pieces. Want Angel hitching another ride in your backseat? Besides, if he's not going to play by the old rules, why should we? And Gunn hits him from behind, yelling, 
Look at us when we kill you. Turn. Then pulling out intestines the size of your leg. We turned him inside out. <laughs> Real bonding moment that is. Oh, mother in heaven. Pants wet and praising <laughs> the Lord to save you. Kind of scared, all right? We, we did. did it. All of us together. To us. To us. I started looking for an office. You know, for our new agency. Our new agency. Our new <laughs> agency. The Wyndham Price Agency. The what? The what? You don't like it? Gun? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's so original. GCW would be pretty good. Oh. Oh, Jesus. God, are you kidding me? Swear I didn't rat on you, Angel. Jeez. Does everybody know where I live? Now that we're past the pleasantries, we've heard you do favors for Angel. I think you'll find our offer oh. competitive. Oh. Last couple of days I've been following this girl. What girl? Ann. You startled me. You're not stalking me, are you? Actually, I am. I've taken of you. Yo, how about you leave me with I'm a PI or something like that? I'm calling the police. Wait, I'm not gonna hurt you. Lying about what, that you're a psycho? I've been following you, but not for the reasons you think. There's a good reason? Wolfram and Hart. They're not saints, and they don't care about you or your shelter. You're not the one counting it. So who knows how much they're keeping back right from the start. After a certain number of miscellaneous and untraceable fees, you're left with 5% tops. What makes you think I'll believe anything you say? Wolfram and Hart aren't what they say they are. If I would have known that this man was in contact with you, I would have come sooner. A little over the top. Maybe if you worked on that look of concern. Very dangerous. I haven't seen anything yet. Neither of you. Okay, they're going at it. Goodness. I was gonna say, is that like a metal bar that he it's malleable or something, or it can bend it around his arm. It's kind of hard. He's using it as like a brass knuckle. I mean, at that point, I don't even know if I'm her. Who was? Guy, who beat up Angel? He wasn't human. See, and there's a different world. That... Lindsay, I'm not naive. Expenses. You know how this works with any charity event, especially one this big. But we don't steal. He says he has. <laughs> we <proof>. don't steal. <laughs> uh, He's lying about that too. Uh, I mean, who are you gonna trust? Confidence Andy, you trust in that. A mentally unstable vampire. He's got proof. Maybe. That's what she said. Angel's got Everything's proof. Everything's gonna be okay. Today, I never discussed stealing the money in public. Until now, he's got us. The bastard just got us on tape. Lindsay's the most National dispensable coverage. character no, that's made it enough for this him. far. Did not think he was gonna swing. stick around. Until he grew that vendetta with Angel. Once he stole his arm, I'm like, oh, he's gonna be here for a while. You alright? I didn't have a big monster pounding my face into the floor, so I figure I'm better than you. A psychotic vampire who cut off his hand, harassed his firm, and is borderline schizophrenic. I mean, good well, portion of that's sure accurate. A, vampire. a few years ago, it would have been a big turn on. I thought vampires were the coolest. I've seen a 14-year-old girl sitting in her own blood after a rough trick and dozens of people just walking right by, so vampires, demons, even lawyers pretty much don't impress me. What about the other 95%? You don't care where that's going, who that could be hurting? I can't. There's blood on that money, and Get me into the party. I put this on, world sees a whole new side of Wolfram and Hart. The highway of robbery ball. This is the first time I've ever seen anything like this. The world can be a dangerous place especially for our most vulnerable citizens. But there is a place right here in Los Angeles that can help these troubled kids. The East Hills Teen Center. Good evening, sir. Things uh, progressing nicely? And it all goes in the public consciousness as a good deed, courtesy Wolfram and Hart. To save some time for interviews tonight. Now, whether you like it or not, you are the public face of this charity. My men are stationed at every possible entry point. Everyone's in radio contact. The moment he senses anything, you alert Boone. Can we really change the world? I love these video cameras. We're here to take it at gunpoint. Please welcome our celebrity bandits from the hit show Life Lessons. Ooh, that's some pretty nice duds there, fella. What do you say, though? We see some of that cash got stowed in them silk pockets. Hey, hey, cowboy, don't hurt me now. All close report in over. No sign of your friend yet. That boy has sneaked in. Angel. Snook. I was afraid you weren't going to show. No, just be like, hey man, look, I know we got a grudge. Can we just do this after? Like, I'm on a, I'm on a mission. You can have a nice 1v1 and settle Once again, it, okay? I'd like, with your support, we can make it a safer place for all our children. I'm not buying makeup. Do you really think we weren't going to be ready for you? Where's the tape? He doesn't have it. Are you okay? I tried to cushion the fall. I'll be uh, fine. What the hell are you talking about? Together. Me, I'm just here for the show. The tape. The tape. She's got the tape. All right, they're going for it. Just give it to me. Act, it's not a toy. It's an expensive piece of equipment for gathering evidence. Let go. You're just going to play with it, aren't you? No! Don't speak. Don't say anything. What is there to say? I swear to believe the coat rack more. Mmm, milk. Milk. <laughs> milk. Looked to me like you two were acting like a couple of crazy people. On camera too. Ouch. Wesley Wyndham Price. 
Isn't that the guy who's dating Virginia Bryce? You don't have us on tape, do you? You know how hard it is to secretly record someone as paranoid as you two? This whole thing was a setup. You hired Bo. No, you did. For a whole lot of money, too. Look up! Wes's OnlyFans account. Coming, coming soon. What happened? He stole the money. Who? The cowboy. The Lone Ranger. <laughs> Oh, how dare you? Huh. You never even planned to expose the scheme. They would have covered it up. Not much, but it's a start. And the money? The money was tainted. I don't even care about Yes, that. you do. You allowed $2 million earmarked for this firm to be lost, and worst of all, you violated company policy by hiring an assassin to kill Angel. An assassin who was, in fact, in league with Angel. But I think he had a soft spot for the two of you. Mm. I won't make that mistake. Okay. Understood. When you handcuff us with these idiotic rules protecting Angel. I'm sorry. Did you say something? <laughs> Angel's an obstacle to everything that we do. You Give know what I'm saying? Like, why we can't just kill him. <laughs> Lindsay's such a dispensable character. <laughs> Prophecies all agree that when the final battle is waged, he plays a key role. His growing obsession with the two of you, the increasing possibility that to scratch that itch, he'll go as far as to kill you, well, that could actually play in the firm's favor. You're both expendable. Angel isn't. That's what I'm saying. Can we have a reunion, please? I've been loving the, the bonding moments between the three of them, but eventually we're gonna have to bring it home. I thought you'd be halfway to Brazil by now. Were they a couple? <laughs> How much you come to? With jewelry, north of two and a half million, I'd say. That's a lot to lay on the line. But I gotta know. Winner takes all. And cut to black. All of it. A little bit more than 5%. Wolfram and Hart find out that you have that money. I can find a way to hide it. What's this? Blood. It'll wash. Will it? And that was my reaction video to Angel season number two, episode number 12 here, guys. This one was the Wolfram and Hart charity that was thwarted uh, as Angel has been riding solo here. I gotta say, I thought this was a pretty fine episode of the show. We got to see more just bonding and development between uh, the three the three unemployed cast members. I'm telling you, man, the chemistry between the three of them has really won me over these past two, three episodes now here. Between e e e between all of them now, they can hang out with each other. There, I also love that ending of the episode there, where their I guess demo reels or whatnot were just on the screen for everybody to watch. I thought that was that was hilarious. But the bulk of this episode, obviously dealing with Wolfram and Hart, sort of funneling money through this charity, screwing over Annie, uh, Anne, Annie, uh, screwing over the character of Anne, which was actually a nice surprise and callback. Um, I believe from, I was on the fence of it. I was thinking about it the entire episode. I'm like, she looks so familiar. And I guess it sort of shows like that, like how much has changed since, uh, what was it? The, the season three premiere of Buffy, uh, when she, her, they became friends when she was on the run and she left the city. Um, you know, so a lot's changed. She's gone to help these youth uh, from being a runaway herself. I thought that was a nice little callback into the, the larger universe. I wasn't too over, like, over the top by any means, but just like a nice subtle like check in to see how things have gone. So I thought that was a really subtle connection there. We also got the introduction of one of the newer higher ups at Wolfram and Hart who's gonna be keeping a handle on our two new VPs. So one of the more interesting elements of this episode was bringing out somebody from Angel's, you know, Rolodex of villains that he's, he's fought over the years. Not even villain per se, but I guess one of his arch nemesis or good friend, if you want to call it. I thought he had a pretty interesting story and was a nice, you know, sort of henchman uh, for this episode of Angel. With that being said, y'all, that was my reaction video to Angel season number two, episode number 12. Uh, this one was blood money. There was some blood on the money for sure by the end of that one there. And yeah, I thought this was a fine episode, you know, shaking things up a little bit at Wolfram and Hart, putting some fear into Lindsay and Lila as you sort of, were getting a little bit ahead of themselves there since they became VP. So he said they're pretty dispensable characters. So I thought that was funny how I was making the joke about that throughout the series, throughout this episode. And the guy literally came here, swooped in and said that right to their face. But with that being said, y'all, love you. And I will see you all in the next pair.